What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. And uh, this is a Hawaiian sunset, of course. So I'm starting out. This probably looks like a real interesting color, right? Like, that's not a sunset. Why does that look so kind of muddy, dirty, gray? You know, what's, what's, what's going on here? Well, let me explain a little bit. So uh, as you'll see this progress, it is kind of a little bit dirty, um, but you'll see here as this progresses, I start putting, there we go, stronger color around the sun. And when you paint sunsets from life, you'll start to understand how gray the sky can become. It's not always the case. Sometimes you do get these very strong colors like I'm putting down here, and they're usually right around the sun. Most of the saturated color in a sunset is around the sun. And as the sky goes further uh, away from the sun, you'll get more gray and even blue if you go up toward the top of the sky. So it's something to take note of next time you look at a sunset, like look how gray the sky is. And I think the reason is because the sky is normally blue. And then once you get this warmer color interacting with it, the warmth of the sun, the blues and the oranges, it starts graying down the, the sky that we see. So that's what I was doing there. That's why the, that color looks so weird and gray and, and kind of, yeah, just uh, kind of bland. So what I painted here uh, just a second ago, these are some clouds that were on the horizon uh, above the sun and on the horizon. So that's what I'm painting in there now um, around this, this sun. And now I'm putting in the blue sky at the top. So you can see, you know, these different colors involved with the sunset. You know, I painted a lot of sunsets now. And uh, every, every one of them is, is completely different for the most part. But... I, do, I have noticed a lot of simula similarities. And not every sunset that I paint is a good one, so it, it just depends. And Okay, so now this is the ocean. So I'm in Hawaii, as I said earlier, and I'm putting down a light, warm color first. And this is the reflection in the water at the time that I was seeing. And I'm really bumping up, getting a little bit more uh, yellowy orange color around that sun. And I leave the sun the white of the paper because that's the lightest value that I can get. Even though to me the sun looked orange or yellow or something, um, I've, I've, you know, I've tried it a lot of different ways. You know, sometimes you can get away with a very bright yellow for the sun, but usually you want to put that bright yellow right around the white of the paper, and you'll get the same kind of effect. Um, it's really that value you want it to glow. And, and I, I feel like looking at this sunset, you know, I feel like that, I do get that glowing effect from the sun in the middle of the, the paper there. So I put down the blue of the water, and you can see it kind of interacted with that warm color that I had underneath. So that's what I was really going for. So now I get these warm, uh, reflections and then a little bit of blue of the water reflecting the sky and now what I'm putting in are some waves and these waves uh, are you know breaking towards me so a lot of them are the part that I'm painting is in shadow so it was this this nice cool purple color so a lot of warms and cools going on in a sunset, uh, especially when the sun is this low in the sky. You know, I only had about four, three to four minutes uh, to really paint this uh, for the most part. You know, by the time I finished the painting, the sun's already set, I'm losing the light. So it's, it's very tricky to paint something this quickly. And that's why this video is kind of short. You know, it's only seven minutes long. It's because I really painted it, uh, you know, in like 10 minutes. It was very, you know, you can see how I'm putting these strokes down. I'm, I'm moving very quickly uh, for the most part. And uh, once I feel like I got the whole environment down, like, okay, now I'm, I'm being very careful with my drawing because what I'm putting in is a sailboat. And there was, a, I think, a few of these sailboats out there. 
And uh, these are kind of, uh, you know, I don't know if I'd call it the focal point. Really, the, the whole sunset is kind of the focal point. But these really, you know, you want to get the drawing right with these. Uh, you want it to look like what it is. But notice I'm not being like super accurate, super detailed. I'm going for the feeling of a sailboat, the suggestion, like I think the viewer's brain, you know, you looking at this automatically know that's a boat on the water. Uh, just because we know what boats are, I don't have to put in every single detail for you to understand that. And there's some reflected light on the back of the boat there, so I was just lifting off some of that dark color and that gives it more of a 3D effect showing some different planes, you know, the back of the boat versus the side of the boat, uh, things of that nature. And this boat is a little bit further on the horizon. As you can see by the bottom of the boat, it's up a little bit further than the other boat. And this was more of a traditional sailboat, or it had its sails out. So that's what I was uh, really working on trying to it had just a really classic look to it, and that's what I was trying to capture. So I spent a little bit of time here really tweaking the shapes, you know, slightly letting it dry in between a few of these strokes, you know, lifting off some of it, um, getting those sails to be a little bit lighter. You know, sometimes it's it's not really about having detail in the painting. It's not detail that's going to make it look good or not. But sometimes having small suggestion of detail or really just having some detail in there can push it to the next level. You know, and, and this, is, this is kind of the last bit of this ship I'm putting on. Boom, the main pole there. So that really brought it together, I think. You know, just having enough detail there to where it's not overkill. Okay, one last boat here. Because there was three boats out there and it just, it worked nicely with the sunset being right in the middle. So it makes your eye move around the painting. And uh, there's the finished painting, folks. So my first sunset in Hawaii that I painted from life. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Take care of yourself. Peace.